All right, so I'm going to show you how to name uh, ionic compounds. We've been working on how to form them. You know, they form from ions. They're attracted to each other because of opposite charges. And then we had covalent compounds where they share electrons, and we're still kind of working on that. But I wanted to show you how to name uh, the most basic of ionic compounds, which are binary ionic compounds. And if you look at this term binary, it's bi. It means two. So we have two elements that join together to form a compound, so the simplest ones. We're talking about group 1 and group 2 cations. So it's these two right here. Maybe I'll circle that for you to show you what I mean. So right here. So we're looking at these right here. These are your cations, group 1 and 2. And they're going to combine with stuff over here, starting with nitrogen, this stuff over here. These are going to be your anions. I'll just label it A if I can. And these are cations, C. So they're going to join together one element with the other just based on their charge. Okay. And the one thing we got to remember, there's no transition metal, so we're not worried about these metal guys at all. We'll get there eventually, we're just not worried about it today. And then, uh, and remember, it's just a cation plus an anion. How you name them is you take the cation name or the element name and you add it to the anion name. To the anion name, you then add the suffix IDE. So we'll look at these in a minute. So it's pretty basic. So let me get this here. Now let's get this smaller. I'm going to move this out of the way over there. Okay. So if we look at this one right here, and I'm going to kind of type these in. It might be easier to do it that way. Let's see if I can find the text here. Okay. So if we're going to name this one right here. NaCl, right? So we look at the name of the first element, the cation. It's sodium. All right. And then we have the second one, right? It's chlorine. But then we take and we add IDE. We take the ending of chlorine off and we add IDE. So the name of that NaCl is sodium chloride. And I'll bold it. Sodium chloride. Okay, so we look at the next one now. Same thing. So we're going to take K2O, and we look at the first one, K. It's going to be right here, group one, and we know that's potassium. It's base, and we're going to, so the next one is oxygen. So add oxygen. Then we want to add the uh, suffix on, and it's potassium oxide. It's always going to end whenever you see the IDE. You know, you're talking about, and it could be a covalent or an ionic, but for these, uh, these binaries, the one thing you're always going to see is if you're not sure what is what, is it doesn't have any prefixes. So there's not going to be any mono, di, and such. It's just the name of the cation plus the name of the anion plus IDE. So this one's potassium oxide. We don't care about that too because we don't need it. The covalent, we will though. Okay, so here we have this one, Ca, we know that's calcium. Then we're going to add the P, phosphorus, but then we have to put that suffix on there. It's, it's calcium phosphide. That's the name of it. Okay, let's move that over. Oh, that's the whole thing. Look at that. Let's move that one over. Okay, we got the last one now. And it's BEO, so I'll just... Type in here, and we know BE, if we look at it over here, is going to be right there. It's beryllium, and oxygen is oxide. And that's the name of it, so that's kind of how you do these. Those are some basics, and but let's look at something a little bit different then. So if I then move on to some different kind of examples, because sometimes we're not going to always have the formula, sometimes we might have the name, and then how do we take that name and then transfer that into a formula? So let's go the other way. So I'm going to carry this down. I'm going to take the periodic table with me. So give me a minute to do that. So I'm going to take that down there. Let's go back up. These are smaller, so maybe I'll So then here we have the name. We know it's a binary because it doesn't have any prefixes other than 
It does have a suffix ID, but no prefixes. So we know this is a binary ionic compound. Two things, right? Potassium and fluoride, no prefixes. It's binary ionic, same with all of these, right? So then we need to write the formula, right? So let's do that. Okay, so then strontium, you have to find it. SR is not one that we learned, but it's SR right here. You know, that, And you know when you're doing these, if it's a binary, <clears throat> it's going to be in group one or two. So you kind of keep that in mind. It's not that hard to find because you know it's going to be here or here. Then the other ones <clears throat> that, that are the anions are some common ones. You're not going to use a lot of different ones for those. Okay, so <clears throat> if you have strontium oxide, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to write each one. SR is strontium. Then you want to write the charge. So strontium is in group 2. It's going to be plus 2. Then we're going to have oxygen. It's going to be O. And it's going to be minus 2. Okay. And then we remember that these have to cross. So if we're going to write the formula below it, okay, it's going to be SR. And then we're going to have the 2 from oxygen, 2. And then we're going to have O. We want that close together there. And then we have a two there. Okay. But then we remember that if they're the same, we can just write them. Can't they cancel each other out? And this becomes I'm going to do it with a pen here. SR. Oh, that's strontium oxide. Okay. And now I'm going to start kind of using the pen a little bit for these. So we have potassium fluoride. So we have potassium K. We look at where it is. It's right here, group one. So we know it's a plus one. Okay, fluorine, we should know that's an F. Okay, then we know it's in this group right here, group 17. So it's a minus one, right? And we're going to cross these, right? So this one would go here, this one would go here. But they're the same, so they're going to cancel each other out. So we know if we have potassium fluoride, it's going to be Kf. Then we have radium chloride. You might not have learned radium let's see if we can find it. it's in group one or two and there it is there group two the bottom one so then we're going to write that ra let's write that ra and then that's going to be plus two and then chlorine cl you should kind of know this one it's right here that's going to be minus one and that tells us our numbers. Two goes to chlorine, one goes to radium. So when we write it, it's Ra Cl two. Last one. So we have lithium nitride. So we find lithium right there. We know Li is its its uh, symbol. We know it's a plus one. And then we have nitrogen N right. And we know it's going to be right here. It's in group 15, so it's a minus 3. 3 is going to go to lith lithium, 1 to nitrogen. And we go Li. And 3 goes to lithium. Li3. And we don't have to write the 1. So that's kind of how you can do it. So I showed you how to do, that, do it if you have the formula, like starting with something like this. And how do you name it? And also, if you're given the name, how do you then uh, write the formula? So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I'll make sure you complete the practice ones at the end here, and we'll talk about it in class. All right, thanks. See you soon.